The new Alto Mantis, the new old Alto Mantis. Uh, we're here to talk about Richie Cole plays ballads and love songs, which will be released on October 21st on the Richie Cole Presents label. I, I got your number. I know where you live. Um, dum, da, dum, dum. <laughs> the history of the album is is that Vince and I were, uh, in fact, we should actually go back and discuss a little bit about how the Alto Mantis Orchestra Project started before we get, because the, the Ballads album actually came out of that. Uh, this would put us back into about uh, I guess fall of 2014. Yeah, I have been open. Yeah. We were doing some jam sessions. I met Richie Cole through mm -hmm. another acquaintance. At an Alto Madness rehearsal. Uh, rehearsal, right? right. You right. were doing the rehearsals yeah. with him, yeah. Part of the yeah. Alto Madness. Just a rehearsal band. It was, you know, it was, he wanted to hear his charts, basically. Yeah. That's right. We, we, we played, and uh, the one day, and this is a funny, pretty good story, actually. The one day, uh, I guess for the third time I was there, Richie mentioned to me that nobody in town hires them and I said what are you doing Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> you know because uh, Vince had a restaurant at the time and we were uh, we would set up and, and, and play uh, another colleague of ours Ron Wilson uh, so the trio would go down and play at his restaurant on uh, at least one Tuesday a month I figured yeah doing and then we end up doing every other we ended up doing every other week so every, other, every week. other week yeah and then uh, and so I said hey guy well like Richie said I'm I'm playing a gig with you uh, I, I called Vince up and said, hey, how would you like to play with Richie Cole? And he said, forget it. Yeah, no, yeah. no, he didn't. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Who? Who? <laughs> no, no. Right. Yeah. Everything was, uh, you know, we, we set it up and we started playing. We started, we had a regular quartet gig that went on with people sitting in. And uh, I guess it was around January, uh, I, 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 I approached Richie about recording the Alto Madness Orchestra. And the original uh, idea was it would be Vince and I, and actually Ron. Ron, Ron was involved yeah. in the first couple of sessions. He got a little too busy. He got a little too busy and backed out. But uh, uh, Richie suggested a bunch of players, and we went out and got them, and we did some rehearsals. And the idea was it was going to be a, a re rehearsal or two, a couple of sessions, and then we'd make an album. Well, that turned into twice monthly recording sessions that went on for months and months and months. I'm doing just, I'm so happy living in Pittsburgh, man. It, 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 I got a couple of angels here, like making all my dreams come true. Everything I worked for all these years, they're, they're recording me and putting it out and, um, you know, taking really good care of me. I love it here. Great, great musicians, and I'm, I'm working like four, three, four, five days a week. So we cut to August of 2015. We'd been recording now for eight months. Uh, we had lots of material in the can, and Reggie Watkins, the trombone player, you think this was an interview about you, right? You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we get to you in a minute. All right. But Reggie Watkins came to me and said, uh, that, you know, uh, my, in fact, well, let's back up again. The Reggie, Rick, Matt, who was the tenor saxophonist, and J.D. Chasen, who was the trumpet player at the time, uh, uh, were, were part of a band called the Steel Town Horns, and they, they send, they, they, Send them. They go. They 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 get hired by by touring bands to be the the, the horn. They go on the road. Yeah. They go on the road. Be the horn band. Uh, the horn section for various touring bands. So Reggie came up to me and said, "Hey, we got a gig. You know, big money. Would you you know for a date that we had already booked as one of the Alto Madness Orchestra recording sessions?" And he said, "Would you mind if we took it?" And I said, "Man, we got tons of stuff in the can. It's not like the project's going to be ruined if you skip out. So go ahead." And uh, but I looked at Vince, I looked at Richie and said, you know what, we, we got this, the time booked already. Why don't we go in and just do a little quartet thing? You know, and uh, Patrick Whitehead, our piano player, was out of town at the time. So it was going to be uh, Eric Susoff, Vince, Richie and I. Patrick will be here, right? Yeah. <coughs> Just oh. today. Yeah, we start with a couple of ballots. Then we get the Alto Manus Orchestra to come in. We do some non-ballots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, we went in, 
with the idea of, of just playing some tunes. There was really no plan, no, we didn't really have anything scheduled, right. we didn't work anything out. talk about it. Certainly hadn't rehearsed. We hadn't rehearsed, yeah, yeah. we hadn't even talked about what tunes we were going right. to do. We just started playing and we just played whatever we felt like playing. We came in a couple of weeks ago to record and we just pretty much goofed around and came out with two thirds of a really good ballads album. And he's never recorded a ballads album before. We don't, in this giant voluminous catalog, there are no Richie Cole ballads. So we're going to try to fill that niche, that, uh, niche up. Turns out, eight of the 11 tunes we did were ballads, which one of us figured out later. I think maybe you said, hey, you know, yeah, we but, just played all ballads yeah. or something like that. Uh, but at, at, at whatever, whoever came up and with you, But you said, I looked and he never made a ballad album. That's right. Why, why, I went, you know, why right. don't we just add a couple more and, you know, call it a day? There we go. I, <laughs> yeah. I went to the discography, yeah. no ballads albums yeah. on his, it's like, 75 albums listed, yeah. but there's no ballads album. Right. So I, I went to Richie and said, hey, how would you like to turn this into a ballads album? He said, eh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay, he was whatever. Like, hey, it was yeah. really, yeah. His, his baby is the Alto Madness Orchestra. Yeah. So this was real a side, side thing. You can't really plan too far in advance, because no matter what you plan, it's probably, you know, it, it might start that way, but it'll deviate rapidly. So we went back, uh, we did two or three more the next Alto Madness Orchestra mm -hmm. session on the 28th. This, well, we did the original session on September 8th, and then a couple of weeks later we came back and did the... Uh, because I remember we recorded a couple, a bell or two before the horns came in. That's correct. We went correct. there early and we added a couple of a couple of, because we needed a couple more things. And we yeah, had, we got the rhythm yeah. section together early and did a few tunes, mm -hmm. and then we did one more the next... We did, in fact, it was Spring that can really hang... The opening tune of the album, Spring Can Really Hang You Up the, the Most. The last thing we did. We did that on the last session. And before the horn guys came in, and we, mm -hmm. we did it, and then did a regular mm -hmm. Alto Madness Orchestra session. Whatever his, whatever, wherever the whim goes, wherever his, uh, whatever he wants to do, that's where he goes. And it's very cool because his instincts are really good. So wherever he sends, wherever he puts it, it's it's usually the right place. We should go ask him. Let's go. Let's go down and ask him what we're going to do. So what are we going to do first? Let's try that Sunny that summer. He's coming with the with the music. Okay. How did you feel about the sessions? I mean, what did you think? What was your take on it? Well, first of all, it was kind of surprising we did all the ballads because I was thinking we we're going to do some like really burning fast things, you know, because we're and we did. We did two songs that were really up. It was like real up tempo, two up tempo tunes. We were, were, what's the first time you come in? Boom. Can you play it lower? That's the low as it goes. That's the low as it goes? Here's the low. That's good enough. Low is to be flat. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Uh, me and Eric do. Boom, 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 boom. Cut. Wow, we, wow, wow, wow. Do you want me to play Walk It or? Mm, uh, I don't know. No, play kind of fuck with it. Yeah, I'll just kind of yeah. just sort of screw around. You don't have to walk with it, no. No, it'll, it'll too. It's too nice stilted. Fit, fit, yeah, I got, fit, I got this, it. This is Philadelphia style ballot. Okay. Well, it's like one, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gotcha. No, I'll just, Philly style. I'll just keep it uh, if really. I have to choose. Dum, dum, dum. So Whatever. we're going to play this thing straight through? Play it straight through. Two, two times through the. Yeah, play two times through. Let's see what happens. Run it down. Yeah. And every time you see this part, boom, 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 even kind of hold that, do, 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 boom, got it, ka, ka, boom. Yeah, I, I probably would have done that anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Got Good. Got it. And at the end, that way, that Sunday on the cut, mm -hmm. that summer, ding, 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 e flat. Okay. Boom. Do we Easy. end on we end on E flat or no we end on Oh we end on E flat. Yeah, e okay. Alright. We can always on, whatever you do, end on E flat, man. Or I'm gonna get very pissed off. Then we and then we did all these ballads and uh, and uh, <clears throat> I kinda think that uh, after eight months of doing the Alto Madness, 
orchestra, which was, you know, a little bit of pressure. And I don't mean pressure like uh, anyone's yelling at you. It's just the fact that you, you got these charts in front of you, you have your head buried in the chart. You know, maybe we'd run a chart down, then we'd, um, we'd record it and go over a part we needed and record it again and move on to the next chart. We never did more than two takes, maybe three in a row. We're, we're, so you're just constantly doing that. So we come in there that day with no agenda and call a tune and we just close our eyes and play. And it was so relaxing just to, just to play with, without having to worry about all, all those other things. So and I think that's why it kind of came out the way it did. Well, okay, Eric, you're gonna go back and play a solo from A until where it says D, D7 sus. I'll come back in there. Da, 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 da. And at the end, the F minor 7, that way, that Sunday, cut. And I'll say that summer. Eric, come in with something to shoot. Ding, 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 ding. And we've got E flat. I didn't know he was such, he was so into writing music, and his arrangements are very nice and his original tunes are also great. Um, so it's been a joy to play them. E flat, like, flat. Eric, you, you can sing me. Be ba do ba do boo you watch him. Cue him, yeah. Okay, Eric, you that. All right, let's try this, try this thing. Well, we're hot. No, go just roll. Ready, get set. Richie kind of had a uh, connection with all the songs. I don't know if he thought about it ahead of time or, uh, I mean, like uh, I think Eric suggested Emily, that's his mother's name. Yeah. And I know we were just listening to Chances Are in there. And I know he told me Chances Are was one of the first songs he, he, he used to like when he was young. It was just such a big hit and he just loved the song. So he, he kind of caught, the tunes he did call up were tunes that he, uh, you know, he had like, we were talking about or he was maybe thinking about. I think Aaron, you actually mentioned the, uh, the National, what's the, what was the name of it? International. Yeah, he, he mentioned it, and it was in Richie's head, and that's why we did it. He said, you should yeah. do it, because he told the story about it. Right. And that's why he did So So there's a lot of stories there, and you know, Richie always says he likes to tell stories, and that's what, that's what he, he, you know, he relaxed and did it. <laughs> There's, uh, there should be a lot more, you know, thanks to Mark Parna producing this and making it happen. made the album um, and you're right I think the, the the nice thing about it we didn't have any agenda we went in we just played tunes it was very relaxed yeah. nobody in fact I know I mean I'm the one that usually you know tries to have an agenda on these things there was nothing I didn't think we were gonna do anything with this the, the, my original intent was well we'll go in we got the studio book mm -hmm. we'll play a couple of tunes yeah we'll play just a bunch, see what comes out yeah. and it'll end up just going to the archives yeah. maybe we can pull one out for the yeah, as a bonus them, track on yeah. one of the right, future right. alto madness CDs I, the idea that this was going to become mm -hmm. you know uh, a, a heavily promoted mm -hmm. product was really the furthest thing from my mind and I, and I think that actually helped us a lot right, in terms I think of so. like I without think so. it just kind of happened yeah, well, we, 
it's, it's, it's a thrill for me and the guys to be uh, have this opportunity to be at George Hyde's and uh, come in every every week or every other week to record. And then I'm, I'm given the opportunity to, uh, uh, to Mark, Mark Berna, to record the, the, the music I've been working on for the last 25 years that's been sitting around doing a little bit here, a little bit there. But now I come in every, every other week, every week, and I can record it. You know, but it really was. I right. mean, it just was like, uh, without making it, it was just kind of just, all right, what do you want to do next? Let's do this. Okay, you start out, give me a little bit, da, 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 we'll end it, follow me at the ending, boom. We did some of them with one take. They were all one yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't do anything twice. There you go. So, I mean, I have we all hardly the even talked everything over. You know, we just like, uh, give me an intro. Boom. We just did it. What key? Yeah. It was kind of like that. And we're all in booths, so we can't really, but Richie would point at you. Yeah. go, solo. Yeah, you know, yeah, and you're like, like okay, that. here we go, it's my turn. Okay, my and turn. At the end, I remember trying to look over everything so I could see him, see when he gives us right, that. Right, you get a little end. But together. really, I mean, I was listening to, we were listening to Chances Are, I was thinking the ending, you know, we just kind of followed each other. Yeah. And, then, you know, those those little hits, you know, if you're a little early or a little late, it isn't right, you know. Right. But, but, for, but, but, but it's like a live, sometimes you play live and, you know, you just, it, you make it work. You know, you just, and they, all the hits come together. You don't know how, he'll never do it again that way again. You know, right. never ended that way again, you know. Yeah, you know so, but we got it right. No, good night tonight, man. Good to see all the guys hanging out. <clears throat> the band that hangs out together, you know, that's that's a good that's a good situation. Everybody seems to be happy with what's going on. Oh, oh, he's funny. <laughs> he's he's fun to hang around with. He's 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 a good hang, and he has a great sense of humor, which is evident in his music with all the uh, quotes and you know. Uh, Choosing a tune like the Russian or the Soviet national anthem. A bit of humor in that. Well, I'm going to say this about you, Mark. This is a fact. This is not gushing. This is not BS. I've known you a good stretch. You have to be thanked for the beautiful dedication you have to music, not only for your own growth, but for what you've done with and for others. Well, that's, you know. It's what I want to do. I know, you know? and I love that. It, it's, 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 I just wish somebody that signed a mega, mega, multi-million dollar contract for the Steelers, <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. right. I want to open a jazz club. I live here now, and I notice there isn't a single jazz club in Pittsburgh. Right. Thank you. Good luck. You know what I mean? <laughs> good you're, luck putting, with that. you're putting a lot of what you could be putting into a boat. Uh, thanks to Mark Parna for um, making it happen. Beautiful. You buy that stuff, and it's gone. You oh, know, yeah. you know, yeah, but, I but, know, but the stuff we're doing now is part of history. That's right. And it's always good. I love that there. it's come to this, too. I love playing ballads. You can play them all day. Create a gig. You can edit most of this out. <laughs> uh.